Wait, whatever this is. It's called Adept, and I hate it too. Well, hello there, Lara. I'm sorry, we kind of forgot about you for a while. Like, you came out in mid-July, and I was busy then. Then 2v8 was a thing, and then 2v8 got extended, so we never really got a chance to do your Adept achievement, and... With Castlevania coming up on the horizon and a killer and survivor to get adept on, maybe, uh, maybe I should uh, start working on that. Anyway. Yeah, Lara Croft adept. Let's do this. Now, before I talk about her perks, I wanted to, to make a little comment because that I thought was interesting. So, if you recall when Tomb Raider was first announced, I made a joke that was like, Hey, Behavior, we all know you're going to do a, a day one premium outfit. Well, if you don't do this outfit, you're a coward. And then I had a, a picture of, you know, the, the old school Lara Croft, you know, the low res polygon like triangle boobs. Yeah, old school Lara. And I was like, oh, ha ha, how funny and stuff. Well, Behavior was like, I have an idea. Uno reverse. No, you. So let it not be said, you know, that I'm a hypocrite or I can't admit when I've lost an internet argument. No, I can be the bigger man here. And look at that. Look what they did for their... Hi. Okay, I can heal you, sure. Look what they did for their, their, their premium outfit is her retro look. She's got her turquoise top, her tan pants, her, like, rose, you know, uh, red sunglasses. It's, it, you know... I called them out, and they called me back in return. <laughs> oh. I thought that she had hit him. Oh. Huh. Now, did she see us, or does she have, uh... Let's find out. Does she have nurses or not? I guess she might have some other... Well, let's just see if she has an intel perk. Because there ain't no way she finds me back here without an intel perk. So either she's going to have barbecue or nurses. That's the only way she comes back here. Anyway, so yeah. She's got her, her retro outfit, and I'm like, all right. Well, you beat me, behavior. I got it. I'm getting it. Now, to be fair, I also got it because, you know, cool. Uh, you know, just like the nostalgia for the first, you know, the early Tomb Raider games. Um, you know, my glasses are as rose-colored as hers are. No. She she knows. Stop. Like, she found us the first time and it was suspect. Why are you trying this again, dude? Like, this is clearly not working. Alright, well now that we're not being, like, chased down by Alan Wake, who's being a beacon to the spirit saying, Hey, Lara Croft's over here, everybody. Let's talk about her perks. The one on the bottom. Finesse. I, you know, lit up right now because it's active. It's only active when you're healthy. That's why. In fact, I'm going to show you what it looks like. You go. Well, not like that. Like, I can't get enough speed. All right. So we, we got Alan Wake saved. Let's show you the first perk. Here we go. Whoop. Look at that cool little vault animation. Now, who would have guessed that that picture down there of Lara vaulting a thing would have to do with a vault? I, I don't know. Maybe you figured out because you're so smart, viewers, but... Yeah, so it's called Finesse, and what it does is when you are healthy, you vault 20% faster, and then it goes on cooldown for 30 seconds, as you can see. And as you can see, it's ready to go again. So, like, yeah, it's a it's a cool perk. Um, but, like, as you'll notice with all of her perks, like, the problem with getting Adept on Lara Croft is that all of her perks sort of work better with other perks. Like, they all pair better, and you're like, well, of course, like, if you could run Sprint Burst, that'd make for an easier time. I don't mean that, but, like, so, for instance, Finesse, you vault faster when you're healthy. Like, that, it's cool. Like, it's not a bad perk. You know, it's not as good as, like, Adrenaline or something, but, you know, what is? But, like, you know, you get this in, like, a random perk challenge, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, cool, like, yeah, I can work with this. Like, this is neat. Yeah, that's fine. But, you know what would make it better? If you had any of the other vault perks to go with it, like, say, life. Because if you had life, you'd be like, all right, faster vault into my, like, after you vault, you run faster exhaustion perk. It's so, like, it would pair really well with life. On its own, it's fine. It's good. 
Like, it's nothing crazy to write home about, but it's not bad. So, that's her one perk. Let's talk about the one on the right, Harden. Uh, it's the one with her, like, biting a, a piece of cloth. It's arguably her most powerful perk, but at the same time, it, it's, it's designed really well. Because it's a very strong effect. Oh, well, that was terrible. The worst timeline. Uh, nothing to drop. I do have something to drop. Just keep running in circles. Hi. We're just gonna ditch. She'll follow, but whatever. We bought a little bit of time. So yeah, hardened is interesting because. To activate it, you have to both open a chest and cleanse a totem. Well, cleanse or buff. You have to deal with a totem uh, in some way, shape, or form. But once you have opened a chest and cleansed the totem, for the rest of the trial, you get a better version of Calm Spirit, which is that anytime you would scream, Instead of screaming, you instead see the killer's aura for five seconds. I mean, sure, if you want, but... It's like, it's a good perk, but it takes a bit to activate. So, like, it's not... Again, like, it's not adrenaline where it's just like, boop, here you go, it's active, it's really strong, you don't have to do anything. But, like, it's cool. And, like, you get a very strong perk if you activate it. Where, you know... And, you know, and it's super hard to counter to, uh... Is it Ultimate Weapon, which is the opening locker perk? One of the Xeno perks, whichever one's the opening blocker perk. Like, Calm Spirit's already a good counter that. Now, besides not screaming, you see their aura, too? Like, that's cool. But, like, opening a chest and doing a totem, kind of a lot of work for it. And now the thing is, though, imagine you had some other perks to pair with it, how much better it would be. Because, like, what if you had, say, Inner Healing? Or is it Inner Strength now? Whichever one's the, the original name, because, you know, it's the original name, and then it changed, and it changed back, and... You know how it goes. Um, but if you had Inner Healing, Inner Strength, whatever, or maybe, you know, you have a boon, like, you know, maybe you've got, like, Shadow Steps or Circle of Healing or something, you can do half of the activation cost while doing another one of your perks. Like, you know, break a totem, you activate your Inner Healing, blah, 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 blah. And then... Now all you have to do is open a chest, and then you get your, your, you know, hardened benefit of not screaming and seeing the killer's aura instead. So again, it's a cool perk, it's a good perk. I think it's designed well that you get a very strong effect, but it has a, you know, cost to it that it's not just free. But again, it would pair better with something else. Finally, the perk on the left, where she's like sort of looking in a chest with a torch above her head, that is Specialist. And surprise, surprise, just like the vaulting one, it has everything to do with, you know, it shows her looking in a chest because it has to do with chests. It makes sense. Uh, I think we can get there in time. We'll be fine, Nancy. Don't you worry. Now, what specialist... Specialist is definitely the weakest of her perks, like... Um, but it is... It's interesting in that it's sort of like a new type of, like, you know, it's, it's a new design. So, like, that's cool. It does something that nothing else does perk-wise. Um, but what it is is anytime you open a chest or rummage through a chest, you get a token. Uh, and I think it up to, like, six or something. I forget how many times it stacks. But, hello. I'm gonna finish this first. Um, hmm. Shit, if I keep running around here, yeah, look at me. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm over here now. Nancy's long gone, sucker. Oh, this is dropped already. Well, oh, well. And now, so that we don't play the slug the third person game... We'll just give ourselves up on hook to give Nancy Hatch. Ah, now what were we talking about before we were so rudely interrupted and killed? 
Uh, or specialist, right, specialist. Work on the left. The thing with specialist is, yeah, so I don't remember what I even said in the previous match, but yeah, you, you, anytime you rummage or, you know, open a chest, you get a token. When you work on a gen, if you get a great skill check, uh, it consumes all your tokens and in return, uh, takes 4% or like four notches off the gen the same way that, uh, say a brand new part does. Now, brand new part, for instance, does 10. And each of these, you know, each each one is four. So, you know, it's if you have less than, you know, if you have two, it's less than a brand new part. And if you have three, it's more than a brand new part. And obviously, if you got like six, I think, is the max number of stacks you can get. Uh, that's, you know, 24, almost a quarter of the gen that you no longer have to work on. Um, and so it's cool because, like, you know, no other perk does that. It's only a thing that one add-on does, like... But, like, it by itself is not, like, okay, so let's say you open a chest because you also want to get hardened. Okay, if you get a great skill check on the thing that's minus four. Would you, in fact, let's do it right now. Let's look through this. So, it's you know, it's not great. It would pair better with, say, like, if you're looking through a bunch of chests because you want to, like, really stack those things up on something. It seems like... You know, if you had plunderers, so that you could A, see where all the chests are, and then B, not have, like, shitty items. Like, look at that, I went through a treasure chest, it's like, okay, so if we get a great skill check, it's minus four from the gen, and all that time we spent searching through the gen gives us a brown toolbox without anything. No add-ons, right? Because we don't have aces perk, we don't have plunderers for a better item. Where the... Oh, there's one up here. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's not a, I don't know, it's, it's definitely her weakest perk. Like, it's not super bad. I mean, I guess it's kind of bad, because, like, and if you're going to be looking through lots and lots of chests, that's kind of a detriment to your team, because it means you're, oh, hello, not working. Yeah. Hey, whoa, indeed. You still, why does it say she's still chasing me. She is very much not doing that thing. She's upstairs. So yeah, it's just, it'd be better paired with stuff just like all her other things. Like, if you had, like, plunderers to get a better item. If you had aces, which I'm forgetting the name of, to get, you know, add-ons to your items. Like, it just would make more sense to, to pair it with something else rather than, like, at least it pairs with itself. Like, because who was it? Was it you know, we've had some people where it's like their perks don't even pair with themselves. And at least hardened searching a chest does give you a token for specialists. It's like, you know, it's not terrible. But yeah, it, it you know. As I said, getting adept on her is not the worst, but it's not the best. And that's where we are. Now I think I finally talked about everything. Her outfit, her perks. Her... I inability to ever work on a gen or get anything done. Well, I guess we just have to play now. Also, hey. This can't be sparking. That's not allowed. Oh. Joy and Leon just gives up. Well, I'm sure we'll get add up now at this rate, with our teammates just giving up. <sighs> Everybody loves solo queue. Oh, please leave me alone. You already stabbed me once. You really need to do it again? I don't think you do. I think you're overreacting. I don't know where I'm going. What I'm doing. Um, let's loop back. Oh, there she is. Damn it. I mean, it's bleeding bad. I knew she was sneaking around there somewhere. I just didn't know where. Oh, 
What are you whapping about? Yeah, hey, at least we got a gen done. Woo, we're making progress, people. Surprise. We didn't get it. All right, third time's the charm, right? I'm sure it'll be better this time. But yeah, maybe uh, I, I've shown off her, her her cool retro outfit enough. Uh, maybe we take off the, the neon turquoise that stands out like a, a sore thumb. Spoiler alert. Third time was not the charm. You know what they say, fourth time's the better than third time charm. Okay. Whatever this is. It's called Adept, and I hate it too. Alright, well, we weren't able to finish the gen, and now he's on us, but... No, no, no! Yeah, no, no, no. No, no, no. You can do that. Yeah, he can break it, but it's still gonna slow him down a bit. Wasting more time. They'll hit us with the tentacle, but... Really? They'll hit us with the fisticle. Well, I didn't see that coming. Uh, come on, you're not gonna give up the chase on me as easy as you gave it up on... On, uh... On what's her face? I feel like you're playing favorites here. Ow. <sighs> so what are the odds he goes and checks where that gen was finished in that corner versus coming over here to look at his... Is three gen. Hey, look, he found his favorite person, which means at least we'll be able to get them to finish the gen because we know he's gonna chase us to the ends of the earth. Here we go, all the way upstairs. Me. What? Here we go, all the way over here. Why? And they're not even working on Jen. You know what? Take me away, Nemesis. Fourth time wasn't the charm either. Fifth time's the charm. Ugh. Yeah, there's gotta be a way, and yet there isn't. All right. Let's try and make good use of our powers. We're gonna activate them all. Break a totem, open a chest. We're gonna be the best Lara Croft there ever was. At least we're gonna be the epitome of Lara Croft, but no Lara is more Lara-y than us. Doesn't mean we'll do well, but you know, we'll stand out at least. Just looking for a chest, wow. Okay, well, or not, or I won't find a chest, and I'll just start working because I, like, yes, I said, I'm like, I'm gonna go do my perks, and then I'll show you all the cool stuff, uh -huh. but, like, I'm in solo queue. I just feel bad if I'm looking around for chests, because my teammates are gonna be like, why isn't she working? Help us, Lara, please. And I'm like, no, I need my perks. It's the only way I'll survive. And I'm like, no, you won't survive with those perks. Come on. Who are you kidding? Uh... Well, got him to turn away, at least. That's progress. He saw us, so it's not like we got the dude out, but... Um... Here I come to save the bill. Lara Croft is on the hill. I mean, this is a terrible idea because he's a speedy boy, but, you know, sure. We can do this, too. It's fine. There you go, Bill. Be healthy and free. Wait for him to... Oh no, but he sees him. Mm. Can you leave him away, Bill, please? Mm. 
Uh, oh, let's 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 finish this. Let's finish this. Like, come on. All right. Now I'll heal you. Good job. You 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 we we're on the same wavelength. The wavelength of oh fuck, it's a blight. Now as dangerous as this might be. We must activate our Lara crafting powers. Boink. We have activated our Lara crafting powers. We have the ability to both Lara and to craft. Uh, hi. Oh, hey, mm. awkward. Nope. You can come this way, sir. He doesn't want to come this way. He really wants... He wants that bill. Uh, no chest in there. By chest, I mean, you know, generator, chest, whatever. Maybe that's why I haven't been escaping. Because I don't know the difference between generators and chests. Well, look. Here's a chest, and now we're going to open it to get a lovely item. Although, hey, if I get a great skill check, then at least I can get a... Uh, Get the, uh, you know, the bonus from my my going through a chest thing. Yeah, look at that, see? Just a little poop. Isn't that four, that four amazing? Was that worth going through a chest for? Yeah, I mean, I guess if you paired it, well, like, the, the, the problem with, like, I guess getting one for, for hardened is fine, but, like, getting multiple... Nope. You can take me down, but... Hey, kitty cat. Guess we got a gen. In your face. What is Sable doing? Sable, don't just stand there. Either come and pick me up or work on a gen. We only have one left. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take being picked up. That's fine by me. Like, I don't care what you do, so long as it's not just standing. Maybe she's, you know, adjusting her mouse hand or something. I don't know. But she is. Uh, yeah, I don't think we want to deal here. It's... Oh, I'm also still under force penance? Man. Okay. Nope. You tried and you failed. We're gonna just no, no, no. drop that. Let's go this way. He didn't commit. Damn. Well, she got the unhook, so that, that's good. If I were a gen... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. No, that one's done. Damn it. Shit. She's done. Damn it. Um, I'm... Sh did we ever actually finish the one in the center? I don't know. There's usually another one around here, right? There we go. Ah, dicks. Unless she can really lead this dude on a chase. Which, you know, it's a blight, so... I don't know that I can work for 90 seconds on this, and... Then how do I get her off the hook? I'm injured. Just... I don't know, Sable. Oh, okay. You missed. Here 
Here we go. Here we go, loop de loo. Uh oh. Yes, keep doing that, Jen. Yes! Fable, you're a goddess. Keep doing this work. Nope. Oh, you want to come up here? Let's go down here. No, let's go back up here. Yeah, I'm not going to escape. Oh, but he knows where to go. No. Why do you have to be such a blight? Like, come on, you're really gonna slug for, for four? Whatever, I still finished a jet in your face, so... I'm still the winner here. I don't have the moral high ground because I'm flipping off the camera about the guy I'm playing with, so, like... I might be the winner here. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not the, the moral high ground here. I was gonna say, Sable, you gotta try jumping now, because you're not gonna have much time left. Come on, we got a luck boost. We got a luck boost. But not that much of a luck boost. Well. Yeah, no. Look, I know you're trying your best, Miss Croft, but, uh. Don't quit your day job. I, I think you raid tombs a little bit better than you add up to escape. Already stabbed me once. You really need to do it again? I don't think you do. I think you're overreacting. <laughs>